Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I'm back with the Abandoned Journal. We're going to work on that today. We're going to work on um, doing another, like, pocket page. I think that'll be the last one, because let's see, what have I done? What have I done since I saw you last? I know I've done something. <laughs> Don't you hate that? Oh, this, uh, this envelope flip that we made together um, from... Rachel at Roxy Creations, uh, her challenge. I can't think of anything right now. I apologize, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, um, where we made this envelope. And I don't do her challenge normally. I just saw this and thought it was cool. Oh, I just realized that is coming off. So we are going to have to do something about that uh, little window. So maybe we will cover that. <clears throat> but anyways, this little envelope. And then I did this in the 50 Stack Challenge 3, I believe. And I don't even remember what the prompt was. But anyhow, I have added a little card. It had this tag and this little circle in here that I had just stuck in to say, yep, this is a pocket. But I just didn't really want that. And so I did a journaling card that goes in here. Um, I just love this ship. This is an image out of a, a book. So um, anyways, that goes back behind this. So, and I did add like a stamp. This is a, a stamp that someone made for me that's a washi sticker and some book page. It's just a fun little piece in itself. So that's a great idea. If you don't have a lot of stamps, it's a washi sticker on a piece of book page with a little tiny 17 cent deal added there super cute this is just a a grungy piece that I had so I stuck that on there um put this little piece right here just you know some little bits added this because I had nothing on this I like um I want to see some of that but I didn't want the whole thing to be that so now let's figure out just a little something I could put on there and I'm almost thinking you could just kind of do some washi tape or oh I know we'll do the faux tape because that will look kind of cool on there, I think, and help hold it in there. It's wanting to fall out because it's um, been cut, you know. <laughs> Amazing how that works, right? So how are you guys doing? I hope you're all fantastic. I want to say hugs and blessings to Pat, Carolyn, and Nicolina. So thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for your kind comments. I really appreciate all of you so, so much. Welcome to new subscribers and welcome back to my continuing subscribers. You guys are the ones that make all of this possible. So thank you so, so much. I really do appreciate all of you. And if you have any friends that like to do crafts, please share my channel with them as well because that also helps if my channel gets shared. Because this algorithm thing is killing me. And as it does to many creators who don't have the mammoth channels. This is very tricky. <laughs> you can tell, I'm sure. I can't quite like get a hold of it to flip the tape around. It seems like it should be a simple thing to do. Maybe if I tack it up there at the top. There we go. That might make it easier. That was just sort of silly, wasn't it? Oh, it's still going to be weird. Don't be difficult. So, yes, that algorithm thing is the bane of creator's existence, I'm pretty sure. Well, that's kind of odd. I don't know that that was a great plan. So, wanting to be wonky. Just lay down and behave. All right, that's that. I will revisit it if it's being a pill. But yeah, I think I got them all other than this one. So that's the last one. And it's getting like super chunky, just mostly from that. I mean, I've added a few things in the pages, but not a lot. So the pages may not be heavily decorated. They might be more for journaling. So I have this large book page um, that I just made a very obviously simple pocket out of. It's just folded over at the corner there. Um, so you just take a piece of paper, any piece of paper, book page, whatever. I have a large book with this um, 
not sure what writing this is. Anyways, Latin, I think. Um, you fold it over, just fold down the corner. So that, that's all that is. So it couldn't be any simpler than that. And this one I am going to fully glue down because I just, um, it's kind of my base one that I want to make sure it stays where I put it. So yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, I went and got my hair cut today and um, ran to the post office and all those kind of things. It was kind of a long hair appointment because she is, like I've told you guys, if you've watched my channel for a while, I have become allergic to hair dye. <laughs> Lucky, lucky me. So um, I'm basically kind of growing out my gray, but one of the things that we talked about when I first started talking about doing this is um, I don't want that like line where the gray is coming out, you know what I mean? And then it goes to the darker hair. I don't mind having some gray, that's fine, but I just didn't want that. And so she's kind of doing a little weaving thing so that... Uh, I don't know if that's what it's called, but anyway, so that it will, the gray will come in, but you just don't have that stark, stark line, which is fantastic, but it takes forever. So I was there quite some time today. All right. So then what I have is this um, old envelope you can see from 1954 and it had a dress and all that. I just put some bits of paper over that. And then this I put on to kind of strengthen that. And you can see this is still very flimsy and fragile. So I think I'm going to put um, just another something. Maybe I'll put it right here just to um, strengthen that. And you guys have seen me do stuff like that before. It's just always a good idea when you have old paper, especially because obviously it has been through a lot and it becomes brittle. And this piece is brittle too, but both of them together should hopefully make it just fine. So yeah, the um, I can have that done to my hair because the stuff doesn't like actually touch your scalp, the hair dye, because the foils and all that. So that's what we're doing just for now, just for a little bit to kind of help me get through that stage of having a major line. I mean, I'm not um, all gray where it's growing out, so it's not like awful, awful line, but you can definitely see where the hair was dyed and then obviously <laughs> where it's not anymore. As you can when you have your hair dyed. Oops, just ripped that. But anyhow, blah, blah, who cares, right? <laughs> exactly. It's all silliness, honestly. It really is. I don't know why it bugs me so much, but... I might actually put a piece of that, this tape over here, too. And that is because um, I get asked every time I use it. So I know a lot of you are like, yeah, you've told us like 5,000 times. But um, I always get asked. So it's plain scotch tape with just uh, caramel colored alcohol ink. And I get the Ranger ink from, you know, the Tim Holtz Ranger, that Ranger. Um, and all I do is put some on a paintbrush, paint it, or put drops onto the tape even, and um, paint it with a paintbrush. And then a lot of times I, once it dries once, I go back over and just put drops so that it makes a darker color, you know, in different spots. That's it, and then you let it dry. And voila, you have old looking tape that isn't old at all. So, that's what that is. And then we're going to put this, like, somewhere around here, I feel like. And then this pocket will go here. And so you guys should be kind of used to these by now. This is what we've been making. But first, I want to put this piece. This isn't going to be a pocket. It's just going to be, like, a, 
a looky-loo, but I want it to sort of look like a piece of a letter. I mean, it is a piece of a letter, but I want it to look like there's a piece of a letter tucked back there. Um, I don't want rust. I want walnut stain. So yeah, these are just fun. I have fun with this. I really, I know a lot of you have said you've um, made a pocket page and all that, and that's, they're just really fun because you can do them. I mean, I think that's an endless source of ways to do this and what to put on and all the things. So very fun indeed. And I love typewriter pages. I wish you could find more of them. I have an old typewriter, but it is, oh my gosh, so difficult to type with because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So you're just kind of playing this hit and miss game, which can look cool, like for some labels and stuff. But, um, and I'm going to be honest with you. I do not know how those people <laughs> pushed those keys down all the time. Have you tried some of those old typewriters? It's crazy. I mean, I remember doing typing when I was in high school and stuff, but I just am shocked at how hard some of those old typewriters are to push the keys down. Well, especially when you have arthritis in your hands and your wrists and your knuckles and everything. But um, yeah, they're just real, real difficult. So I don't play with it very often because plus it's always cooler to find it on this old paper, right? Because it's so neat. I'm going to just leave that sticking up there and not worry about it. And then this one we're going to glue down, but we're not going to glue this corner because I want it to kind of be a tuck. So basically I'm going to come all the way down this pretty thickly because it's just so kind of fragile um, and across the bottom. And so it'll be like a tuck over here and a pocket and a pocket back here. So that's the plan. I just wanted that for visuals. So it kind of looks like there's another layer there, but there's not. I really just want this to stay together. <laughs> mm -mm. It's, it's very old, fragile. And I don't mind if I get a little extra on the bottom of this, actually, because uh, the card I'm going to put in there isn't going to reach all the way down to the bottom anyway. And we don't want to glue over here. I mean, you could put a dot of glue right there to hold that down if you wanted it to stay down. Um, but you don't want to close up this pocket. So you got to... That's all that you got to think about when you make these pocket pages is where you want your openings to be, what you want to make pockets out of. So it is a little bit of a, you know, think about what you're doing before you do it kind of thing. I don't really think you can go wrong though as far as if you did glue one pocket shut, you could always add another pocket on or whatever. It's very easy. Because there's no right or wrong way to make it. I mean, you can make it out of anything. So even if you're like, I don't have all that old stuff. I mean, you could make it out of just newer envelopes, just maybe um, coffee dye them or something to make them look old, put ink on them, whatever. It doesn't have to be old stuff. I just happen to be gifted these, so I use them. And this journal has been spoken for. I don't know if I said that. I think I said that last week, but I just want to make sure I said that. And I'm gonna put this stamp over here and that'll sort of help, you know, strengthen that a little bit. Plus it got its stamp torn off. <laughs> I have a bunch of the stamps that my friend's mom that gave me all these collected. I think she tore it off because I have a whole bunch of stamps that she tore off of other envelopes and what have you. Put this. 
I might go ahead and put this. Hmm. I'm just thinking that might need a little strength right there. I was just looking for old bits of stuff. Could use another piece of that tape, but I don't know. I kind of want something else. This is the old letter. And this is very fragile. I just kind of put that along there. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I don't even think I'm going to ink it. Because I don't want it to be super obvious. I mean, it's, it's obviously going to be there, but... pocket that's in the kit is going to go down here and I am going to use this because we have some <laughs> up and down and up and down sort of layering going on here make sure it sticks well that truck is so loud so loud This one sort of reminds me a little bit of the envelope with all the letter pockets coming out that we did in the last journal. That's also a fun one. So if you didn't see that one, check out the last flip-flop journal I did before I did this, started this one. So it's a, it's a good one too. Okay, you all stay down. I don't want to put a whole lot into the pockets until they dry better. But I have this um, old postcard and I think I might have it just go right there. And I know then you can't see the letter, but when you take this out, you can see the letter. And this one hasn't been written on, so it can be written on, journaled on, whatever. what year that is but that car's old I don't know I'm not very good at car ages I'm thinking kind of 40s ish somewhere around there I needed a little inking okay so that's gonna go there and then I have this uh page masterboard ish and then this one for back here. It's a little skinnier. You could probably put a bigger one, but I'm gonna keep go with that small one just because it goes in and out of there nice and easy. But we need to figure out kind of what we wanna put on these. I mean, they don't need a lot. I don't know that they necessarily need anything, but this is what you do with your scraps if you're new um, and you just are starting to accumulate a lot of scraps if you make collage master boards, which I'm sure you've seen loads of people do. Um, you just take a piece of paper or magazine page or whatever you want and collage all over it using up scraps. And then you can cut them down into tags, journal cards, uh, decorative bits. You can turn them into clusters, all kinds of things. And I don't know what I'm going to put on those. I didn't really, like, figure that out. Could use some of these. Like these. That one's lacy. I might use a lady on that one. 
Get these boys. You know, when I was raising my son, I don't like it when boys are being naughty, but <laughs> but I kind of love it when boys are being naughty. <laughs> they just, I don't know, they crack me up sometimes. And I don't mean bad or hurtful or anything like that. I just mean, you know, just mischievous. And I think boys definitely used to be mischievous. Um, my son was a pretty good kid. He didn't get in much trouble at all, but I know they can. I mean, he definitely did a few things, but pretty normal. Pretty normal stuff. Uh, color, I don't know. I don't love the purple down there just for this. And it's rusty. Oh, that's got the lines through it. And this is the thing with these. If you're like, well, I, it doesn't match what I'm doing or whatever. If you uh, make some neutral ones. Even if you add a color that you then decide you don't want later, you can cover it up. Mischievous, that's the word. The ones that crack me up, which I know is not good, but <laughs> where they're smoking and stuff when they're young like that. It just seems, I think, so out of place now. I don't think that happens a ton. But, like, my grandfather started smoking when he was really young. So, it's kind of that whole thing. That you see on these old photos that it's just... Our times have changed, right? I mean, that part's good. But... So, yeah. Don't have really any exciting stories at all been pretty boring around here which is fine I'm fine with boring I don't need I don't need drama or trauma or any of those things in fact I try to avoid avoid all that like the plague but um yeah just no stories to tell I need like Something. That one actually looks pretty good right there. I mean, not that I don't think you have to. I've put a couple in here that I haven't put anything on, so you don't have to have something on all of them. That's the truth of it, but it is fun to decorate them. I didn't get a whole lot of any work stuff done this weekend, um, though. I had a case of the major lazies happening, so yeah. Sometimes I, I can get a lot done on uh, weekends because I'm not doing videos or anything. But I just, I just sat. <laughs> I rode on my rowing machine and I um, 
Uh, I guess I lie. I kind of did start a digital, but that was more fun for me than anything. But I didn't really craft. I just, I just didn't. Oh, I thought that was coming up, but it's not. So yeah, no boring. I'm a real boring today. I did I want a lady on there, huh? Yeah, this is getting to be a serious fatty. I like this lady, but it's too big. I guess I could cut around the oval. But yeah, look at how fat it is <laughs> already. <laughs> That's the cool part about those, though. I think uh, they would look so cool on a shelf. Um, you know, it's more of a decorative bit than necessarily a just a journal. Definitely something for people to look at and chat about when they come to your house. Piece of interest. How's that? Sorry, I know this is a real snooze fest to watch me do this, but um, that's just the way it is some days. Well, a lot of days. I did okay by figuring out what I was going to do, at least. <laughs> Those are the really bad videos when I don't even um, come up with really an idea and I just totally wing it. I mean, the winging, it's fun. Like, I like to do that. But some days that's bad because then I'm over here, over there, everywhere. Kind of a mess, so it's better to have some sort of direction. I feel like. There's that little bit of gold over there. I like that. So that kind of needs like something. A something. Oh, look at the key cat. I like key cats. This is called the box o random. The box o random stuff. That really seriously has no rhyme or reason. See? Random. <laughs> Lately, I've had a few people ask me to do, like, no, um, well, a tour of my craft room. I do have one on, in my list of videos or whatever you want to call it. Um, that would probably work. But, oh, and also how I organize. Well, here's the thing. I am not organized at all. That's the problem. I mean, I put, I have buckets of things and I put like things together. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to do that. Um, you know, that kind of, that's about as organized as I get, but I, this whole craft thing, I tell my sister constantly, uh, if I could figure out a way to like really organize it, but I am just not that person. Unfortunately, I would love to be super organized, so sadly, I really have no tips. I mean, I do like separate out my um, scraps by color and then like all the um, sort of neutral ones go in one giant box because that's what I seem to always have the most of. And uh, then I just do this kind of thing to try to get rid of some. I never get rid of all of them, but um, that's, seriously as organized as I get. I just am not. Or like, you know, I will have things in those little boxes, but as you can see, a lot of times those boxes aren't even organized very well. It's just not something I'm good at. I wish I would love to be one of those 
highly organized people that loves organized. That's the problem. I could probably be organized if I wanted to. I have. It's kind of like working on a computer. I just have no desire to mess with it. So I'm gonna actually just kind of go around the back. So yeah, I would. I clean up all the time, and I put it all back, and it's you know, like things together, bins or whatever. But that's about as good as I can tell you. I am just not. The person to watch is Gail Agustinelli. She seems to have a, a serious handle on all that. And she's very good about like going through and um, using up things, revisiting different boxes and things to make sure she's getting rid of, of you know, whatever. That's her Forgotten Friends videos. Those are great for that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just not very good at all that. Like I said, desire has a lot to do with that. It's really a matter of, I don't want to. <laughs> so I apologize. That is not my, not my thing. But there are loads of people that are. And you can put, like, type in organizational videos or something like that. And you might be able to find more people that are organized, unlike myself. It's too big. I like the writing and stuff on that one. Mm -hmm -hmm. But yes, Gail is who I would point you to because she's, in my opinion... Highly organized. Me not so much. I do try to consistently um, clean off my desk. That kind of thing. Because obviously that gets overwhelming when it's too messy. And put stuff back. But then the problem is when I put stuff away, like I put my fabric away over Christmas. And I haven't messed with any fabric since Christmas. <laughs> because I don't want to get it out again. So that's where the problem lies. I mean, I've used my little bucket that has the itty bitty little tiny bits in it and stuff like that here and there, but I have not gotten out any large quantity because I just, I don't want to mess with it. So that's the problem. When I get it all put away, then I don't use it. Yep. That's my story. <laughs> that has always been my problem, though, is I am not organized. I mean, I can be organized about certain things, but I'm not an organizer. How's that? That's probably a better way to put it. I'm going to put anything on the back of this one. I think I'm going to let it let it be. And then these will get stitched around. But for now, they're just going to go in their perspective spots and be happy. And then, and then there. Oh, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I didn't figure that out. <laughs> that one there. <laughs> Um, this gentleman might be good in here, but too big. I like that. I'll do that. I'll back him on something. Something. How about a book page? This is a glue book page. But, you know, sometimes they don't get glued 100% because that's just the way it is. So you just do that, it solves all your problems. <laughs> and then you get out your chomper 
And the trunk. I got glue all over this somehow. I'm going to chomp off all the words, basically. I try not to make it too painful to the ears. Am I cutting this too small? That would be something I would do. Almost. You can cut quite a bit off the sides. Or the side. Let's attempt to get it as straight as possible here. Which I already failed at, but that's okay. All right, that will work. And then we're going to take some of Lorette's. Well, it's a jeweled design. I think these are Lorette's letters because I think she's the one that collects uh, the old stuff. But a jeweled design is where you get these. And I know, that's ridiculous, right? I've got a book page and I'm putting <laughs> more writing on the top of it, but what I'm doing. I'm not going to see hardly any of this, so it really doesn't matter which one I picked. Try to get more of the center of this. Somehow I printed this one on just white um, copy paper, which I don't generally do, but I did. So you can see it comes out fine. <laughs> I mean, of course, the higher quality paper, you will get, you know, a nicer print. But for collaging and this kind of thing, you don't have to be super special about it. It's just all wonky. Because it'll be fine. Cut that picture down a little. It doesn't need to be quite that large. We're getting close on this one. It's getting there. And I am making more glue pages than I'll ever use. I need to go, I saw, it was, oh, it was Gail I was watching and she used uh, like a, what do you call it? Plant catalog, you know, burpees, whatever, the, those kind of companies catalog. And I was like, that's actually a fantastic idea. So I'm going to watch for those this spring. And I don't get a lot of that stuff. That's part of my issue is I don't get tons of that because I really just don't order from a lot of those places. But I'm going to be watching for them so that I think that would make a good glue. I thought about, I have an old phone book. But then I was like, is that newsprinty stuff going to come off on everything? If it gets a little wet from the glue or whatever. I don't know. It is a quandary. 
and we're all always trying to figure it out, but I thought it was a good idea to use those catalogs. That might work pretty good. What you need is a lot of space so that you don't have to change it all the time. Just move around on it. That's the problem I have with, I just moved that. I saw it. Um, that I have with book pages in general is the, um, there's not enough surface area. And the same thing when I was trying to use the plastic mats to glue on which is a fantastic idea because then you can take it and go wash it. But I could never get through a video without, you know, just having a big sticky mess. So, yeah. It's always something. Is it is. That's better. If it has time, like if you can move it to a different spot, it'll have time to dry in the other spots. That doesn't always work. Have two plastic mats and just rotate them. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'll just sit here and try to solve the world's problems while I do this. Don't mind me. If only, right? If only. It were so easy. If only. It's too matchy. It's too matchy matchy. I'll use one of these. That's kind of matchy too, just in a different way. <laughs> it's matching the picture instead of the background. I have mushrooms. Mushrooms. would match the picture a lot too. I kind of like it. I'll do that and do I have any bits? Need... I know, I'm probably driving crazy. That's what I need. Just something to break it up a little bit. These are my this and that labels. Have this and that on them. <laughs> They're just a conglomeration of different, like rusty cogs. There's a number five. There's an old image back there. Yeah, it's just all kinds of stuff. Okay, so that will get stitched around as well. And there we have it. Another page pocket. Pocket page. That's the word pocket words pocket page all right guys i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you again soon talk to you later love you bye